Hello, everyone. Um, today we'll look at the testing. As you develop uh, the software, uh, the application, there may be some issue that uh, you need to uh, the test your the coding. This is a very, very uh, important issue in all the cases when you develop uh, uh, computer systems uh, and software developments. Um, there are two kinds of tests, um, the black box testing and, and white box testing. So today we'll look at, <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, black box testing. Um, so the, what, what this black box testing is to test, uh, to send the, the input uh, data and then, uh, and then this texting uh, the box uh, uh, check uh, the output to see if uh, uh, we receive the proper output. So we do not look at inside. Uh, white box uh, testing, uh, we look at inside, which will come later. Okay. Uh, as you, what you need to do is that you have to uh, install um, uh, so Python, Python black box testing, so PBBT. Where you, the way that you can uh, install this, the best way is to install uh, PBBT on the Anaconda 3. When you install Anaconda 3, then uh, if you choose uh, your single user mode, then that then you usually uh, install uh, C drive, users and your name and app data local continuum on this under this package there's an anaconda 3 uh, the way that you can install uh, is that you need to have uh, terminals how can you get terminal uh, from the windows for web users you can simply uh, get the terminal very easily i think command command the button and, and the spacebar then you may have a search uh, text box there. If you type T, E, R, M, Tom, you know, then you may be able to see that. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Windows, then if you click uh, the Windows button, holding down Windows button and all, then you have uh, this uh, text box. There you can type CMD, then you will have this, okay? So here, uh, what you need to do is that you need to go to uh, app data. Uh, then there is a local. Uh, and then there is a continent. Uh, continuum. Continuum. Um, then there is Anaconda. Anaconda 3. And then um, um, what you need to do is that you need to use a PIP, uh, one of the uh, web, uh, as I uh, linked. This is the command that you need to do. Uh, this may not work in all cases, so you need to go to a script. Script, then there is a PIP. There you need to type PIP, install pbbt uh, then it'll be installed uh, very uh, easily so that i have a pbbt so if i type uh, dir then then i have a pbbt here pbbt.exe okay this is the uh, the program that we are going to use for our uh, black box testing um, while you are installing uh, this black box testing, you may have some issue. If you do, then uh, let's see here, right, um, on Windows, if you have some issue for SSL, SSL issue, secure uh, socket layer, uh, here's the resolve that issue. You need to download the new SSL, okay, open SSL. Windows 32 OpenSSL.html, then you need to, you can download it and install it. Then it'll uh, replace 
uh, your uh, open uh, the SSL uh, TLLs. Uh, okay, so you need to download this and, and then install it. Then uh, you should be okay to go. Um, okay, let's try. So, so make sure that you have a P, uh, PBT. And then I uh, have a program, for example, here, uh, factorial, uh, the Python code. So what this Python would like to do is to uh, get the number from user, which is the input, right? So get that number. And then in the factorial pro, uh, program. So I want you to, to look at this, uh, how you can uh, get the factorial. If it is less than zero, then uh, there's no way that you can get. Uh, if it's a zero, then by default, uh, it is one. Else, uh, you need to have the multiplications uh, as you uh, reduce. So from number to all the way zero, uh, degrade by minus one. So the given number, then you can reduce by one to multiply it, okay? So that is the uh, factorial. And then uh, this is um, uh, the, the input program. The program taken by this uh, PBBT is uh, the form of uh, YAML, which is uh, JSON-like um, uh, data format. Okay, if you uh, want to look uh, YAML, then then you can find uh, another site, uh, official YAML website. So uh, there is uh, some explanation. This is very similar to the XML or JSON. So what it does is that there is a variable and value pair. So the title of this is a factorial test. And then I'll put uh, the, all the variables uh, is a resolved word, okay? Uh, so, Output is here and test. What do you want to test? My test is Python. By the way, P, PBL, uh, PBT uh, can test not only Python, but it can test, uh, for example, SQL, uh, SQL languages, and uh, some uh, Linux uh, uh, shell script, uh, so many others pass. As an example, we'll look at uh, Python code uh, for Black box. Standard, standard input, uh, you can, instead of this uh, uh, vertical bar, you can specify if you have a multiple uh, input data as a file, like this, okay, Python. And then if you want to uh, make a code, then, then you need to codify here. Or if you want to call it from uh, this uh, uh, YAML file that is uh, external separate uh, uh, Python file, then you can call it from there, okay? And then standard uh, input data is 120. You can change it, uh, let's say 78, okay? Uh, if there is an exception, then we will do exception handling. So I saved this. So we have uh, this input file, and and then input file calls uh, this Python uh, coding list. Okay, these two. For these two, what we need to do is to see here. Uh, there is a, a p type p pbt. Uh, this guy takes input, which is uh, input. This is a file input 12 SYS YAML, input 12, and then uh, followed by uh, output. Let me first give you the help uh, YAML, I mean the uh, PBBT. This is syntax, PBBT, and then you may have some option. Then when you make some option, then there is a minus sign, T for test, and then input and output. This guy needs input and output. So actually PBBT input is input 12 SYS dot YAML. And the output, because I already said the here output, I don't need to. You may if you want to. Um, 
but I can skip it. And the minus uppercase T is for testing. So if you hit enter, oh, by the way, uh, this file is not stored here. So what we need to do is uh, that file stored. Uh, let me go and mercy 455 pdbt where there is uh, those files right so i have uh, factorial for the py and then input uh, sysys.yaml which is uh, just a minute ago right but what we need to do because uh, the input file is here uh, and and then that input file uh, uh, in turn uh, calls the source uh, coding list, which is uh, in Python. So so we need to call users J Y O O N, and then uh, there's application data and local, and then continuum continuum backslash anaconda3 and then script pdbt and then input file is dot demo and then training hit enter all right so this guy says um, uh, 78 factorial equals and this is the factorial number and then ex uh, exception didn't not occur and looks like this uh, is okay right um, so uh, hit enter to continue and enter the output sys dot uh, yaml. Okay, so output twelve sys dot yaml. Then this file contains expected test output uh, data generated by pbbt. So so output is is okay as expected. So to that input we have the output in this black box uh, testing we uh, give input and we check the output this guy says output is okay and apparently as you see here uh, this is uh, this is what it uh, sent to us actually this output is is the output that that we programmed here see here uh, print so we do print uh, print one and then we print i and then multiply continually and then finally we put the total after the equal sign that's what we have here the equal sign that that is the total all right uh i think this hopes uh, works for you